Welcome to the Blue Chip All-Star Academy. I'm Jenny Rudall. And I'm Pammy Hutton. And along with some well-known friends, we'll be putting eight specially chosen riders from all over the country through their paces here at Talent School of Equitation. We'll be testing their riding. You're about to go through pain. For two minutes, you're going to have to do exactly as you're told. Forward. Stable management and veterinary knowledge. Everybody has different ideas about how you put a bandage on. Once you've got the padding on, you're safe. Along with their blogging and media skills. We're watching it, it's very breathy and, and quite broken up and clipped, as you said. It's almost a bit of a comedy sketch, really. This is a boot camp with a difference. Plenty of distractions around, um, in terms of gills, I think. But needs to stay professional. <laughs> and work with its body in order to jump, not on speed. So quiet, trot, and have the horse relaxed. If the horse is too tense, make a circle. We are looking for all-round stars. This is not a riding competition, and we'll be looking at every aspect very strictly. The winner will get a year sponsorship with Blue Chip and get to present a Rudels Roundup with me and become a horse and country vlog star. And there's also loads of goodies for everyone involved. There have been tons of entries. So, let's go and meet the chosen eight. I'm David Morris, this is Bam Bam, we're both from Northumberland, and we compete at Dressage. We're going to do our best to win this All-Star Academy. I'm Izzy, I'm 20 and I'm from Bolton, and this is my lovely horse Gucci, and together we do Dressage. Hi, I'm Josh Noakes, I'm 22 years old, based in Staffordshire, and this is my horse Betty. We do eventing, and she's currently at two-star level. I'm Kelly Jewell, I'm 36 years old, and from Western Supermare in Somerset. Uh, I'm a mum, and uh, this is my other child, Dave. He's a 10-year-old ex-race horse. We hope to eventually work through our problems and compete in either dressage or show jumping. I'm Lucy Robinson, I'm 24 years old and I live in Berkshire. This is Bagel, he's a nine-year-old gelding and we compete at B100 level and will hopefully go novice by the end of the season. I'm Phoebe Aschenheim, I'm 23 years old from East Sussex. This is Ghost, my six-year-old warm blood mare. Um, she's primarily a show jumper but we dabble a little bit in dressage too. So watch us and see how we get on. I'm Reilly Jones, I'm 27 years old from South Wales. Unfortunately, the mare I was supposed to bring to the Blue Chip All-Star Academy went lame. So this is Bob, he got the big call up despite being off the racetrack for only three weeks. Let's see what happens. I'm Stephanie Hill, I'm 21 years old and I'm from Derbyshire. This is Piggles, who is 16 years old. We do a little working hunt together, however, we are hoping to make our arena eventing debut at Chaswith International Horse Trials this year. Our eight riders have come from all over the country, arriving with their horses on Wednesday evening, ready for a busy three days at the All-Star Academy. I am so excited. Don't really know what to expect, but I'm seeing that as a good thing, as an exciting thing. This is Piggles. It has been quite a long journey for us with a four hour trip and he hasn't actually traveled that long for a while. So we're just really happy that he's nice and calm. I've heard of Talent since I was pretty much a kid um, and, uh, you know, never thought I'd ever make it, but um, here we are today, I guess. <laughs> Welcome guys to the Blue Chip All-Star Academy and congratulations, you are the chosen few, the select eight, you've made it this far, but now is when it starts to get really tough 
Over the next few days, we will be testing your knowledge. We'll be testing your riding, your stable management skills, your veterinary skills. I'm Jenny Rudel. I'm going to be helping lead you through the process with this wonderful lady next to me, Pammy Hutton. Pammy, obviously, and her family run Talons. Um, Pammy, we're going to be expecting a lot from them over the next few days. I am looking for somebody who, if you can, be as natural as possible under the circumstances. Please be honest. So if you don't know something, say you don't know or say you're out of your depth. Uh, hard working. That'd be handy. We're looking for the most all-round person. I know I'm known for dressage, but don't panic if that isn't brilliant. I used to fall off of venting, so I know a bit about the jumping. And it'll really be up to you. It's your three days. Hopefully, we'll be able to help you as we go along. And you'll also be meeting quite a few celebrities over the next few days, so try not to be a bit starstruck, obviously starstruck by Pammy and myself. Um, in front of you are, well, I'm incredibly jealous. There are a lot of goodies that you will get to have a rummage through in a bit. Um, get a good night's sleep. It all starts tomorrow, and in a few days' time, one of you will be the all-star champion. Yay! Smashing that. <laughs> I'm digging the sparkles. It's like, I never got anything like this. <laughs> I don't know, I think my horse is going to look pretty swanky in there. hands inside there. Turn your fist that way for me. So just going to pop it on your head, from the front, and roll it back. That's perfect. Fits brilliantly. Perfect. It's 9.31 in the All-Star Academy. After the break, it's straight to work at the All-Star Academy as our eight riders are put through their paces in the first riding modules. Push it over, off your left leg, good boy, go on, go on, that's it. Six, first day at the All-Star Academy. Um, totally feel like I'm the rank outsider, the oldest with the least experience, but we're going to give it our best shot. And that's what it's all about, doing your best. I was supposed to bring my event to Lekka to the All-Star Academy, and God bless her, she went lame yesterday when I was supposed to bring her. So instead I've brought my horse Bob. So Bob's a lovely horse, very laid back, a um, 10 year old X-Race horse. However, by X-Race horse I mean very recently X-Race horse as in he, two and a half weeks ago he was still on the race yard racing. So we've got to be on the arena in pretty much 45 minutes. And um, <laughs> at least he's trying to distract me. Um, but yeah, so I hate you. <laughs> um, the two oldies were the first ones on the yard this morning. Yes. 
and uh, I fully intend to win at breakfast. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm heading off to now. Okay, cool. It's the morning of the first day here at the Blue Chip All Star Academy and the guys, well I'm hoping you had a good night's sleep, there's a few smiles going on so they're all looking happy, getting ready for the riding module, um, maybe a few tips, Pammy likes a smart turned out horse guys which um, looking from the state of the yard at the moment um, we might want to have a bit of a tidy up I'm just saying, all right she's strict. Um, so they're all getting ready to ride. We're going to work on their flat work in a bit. Um, I'm guessing they're a bit nervous, but really looking forward to seeing um, and meeting them properly and seeing what they're like on their horses. This is going to be my, um, my third lesson in two years, so it's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be hard, but it's going to be good. Well, it all seems a bit surreal. I'm not really sure how to take it all in, to be honest. Uh, but I mean, it all seems quite exciting, not really know what's next. Um, but yeah. I just can't really wait to see what's going to be happening over the next couple of days. I am very excited for the lessons in a minute. Flat work it is our forte, so <laughs> hopefully she'll be pretty chilled and uh, just enjoy it. Welcome to the first module, the riding module. Um, you obviously know I'm Jenny and Pammy, um, and introducing Charlie, Pammy's son. You're going to now have a training session. Um, Pammy, how's this going to work and, and what are you going to do now? What we're going to do is to divide you into two groups. Four of you over here with me and four over there with Charlie. During this whole uh, session we will be assessing your riding a little bit and helping you. You don't have to think that you have to be a Grand Prix rider. You do not. We are used here to working with total beginners, they're my favourites, to international riders. So we're just looking at improving and then we'll work with you to improve you a little if we think we can. Good luck guys. Relax, breathe and enjoy it more than anything. So I've just come up here to um, talk you through a few of the horses that I've met already. Um, it may look a little bit like organised chaos, but Pammy's just getting a, a feel green. for what everyone's yeah. doing, what level they're at. And of course, they are going to be at completely different le levels. So you've got Re on the Dark Bay. Um, this, this was a race horse that only came off the track a couple of weeks ago because her actual venting horse went lame. So he's having a real kind of education, a baptism of fire, as it were. Um, you, and might, that's... you might see me get bucked off now. <laughs> We love Rhi, um, and he's called Bob. And quite frankly, I think she's doing a brilliant job because um, it's real bunny and headlights kind of stuff. So um, that's why it looks a little bit like she's holding on for dear life, but she's doing a great job. Um, and then we've got the grey with Stephanie, who seems to be settling quite nicely. Um, Stephanie's horse is called Piggles. Great name. Uh, and then coming on the uh, track here now, the Palomino, um, that's called Ghost. Um, she's really settling in quite nicely she's obviously used to this kind of environment because she's just got down to work the horse is starting to work in um, so that's phoebe on on, on ghost uh, and then coming towards me now the chestnut i think my favorite name of the day dave dave the horse why why wouldn't you call a horse dave obviously um she's again settling in straight away working really hard already had a chat with them um, with pammy which is probably a little bit intimidating she looks quite serious like very serious rider, very concentrating hard. Um, but yeah, really enjoying watching them all. They're all starting to calm down now. The nerves will start to settle and they can just get on with the riding and, and pretty much ignore me, probably. That's why you're going wrong, because you're doing too much to get her down. And then so when you want the bend, you're having to really fight. No, less. Just feel. 
That's all I'm doing. And then you release. Because that's when you're saying, OK, good boy for putting your head up. Obviously now he's a Grand Prix dressage horse, but he was a racehorse. Um, what, what did he do? What was his career? Um, he was a chaser. Okay. Yeah, so he jumped over fences. He raced 67 times. Wow. Um, he last raced in March. So I have high hopes for him cross country. <laughs> um, I haven't actually gone there yet in the two and a half weeks I've had him. But um, yeah, fingers crossed when we get to those hedges, he'll fly them. <laughs> she's got a soft mouth, but you make her look like she doesn't because she's like that a bit. And just like try and, yeah basically. More elastic and more like, slightly more playful, like it's just smaller, smaller aids, yeah. The sooner you can get them um, using their energy in a positive way, and dare I be brave enough to say, I think I might know a little bit about the dressage. <laughs> so what we do when they're very forward going is use that energy, yeah? And uh, what he's doing is more running rather than going forward. At the moment, what I'm doing is pulling him round in a circle till he slows down and then allowing him forward again. Am I doing the right thing or would you suggest something different? I think it's early days. Yeah. I think you need to work with him quietly on his own. This is not an ideal situation. Yeah. All my horses are trained off my voice. Okay. So they all learn. I mean, I, I've got a really... I'm insane at my age to be trying to ride a three-coming four-year-old warm blood that bucks. So I managed to teach her that every time I say woo, she stops dead. Um, the dressage has this kind of perception of, you know, you need to sit up, you need to be elegant, and that's completely correct, but there's years of fundamental kind of security and balance before you get to that point of, like, stillness. Um, and so try not to misinterpret stillness with stiffness. Well, the groups have changed over, so Charlie's horses have come over here and vice versa. Um, and uh, Pammy at the moment is shouting at the shouting at, teaching, I should say, um, the lovely Lucy. Um, Lucy's horse is called Bagel, an eventer. Really like this horse, really, really sweet, really looking forward to seeing a little bit more. Obviously, cross country day, we'll learn a little bit more. Lucy, look at those long legs love legs that long um, so really excited about watching this pair develop and um, smiling look at that grin on her face she's absolutely loving having a lesson with Pammy Hutton I'm a little bit jealous um, and then coming towards me now we have the lovely David on Bam Bam um, David I've just discovered only started riding three years ago so that's pretty impressive I only have Bam Bam two and a half years um, the goal is to do novice dressage this season and then down in the end we have Josh um, with the brilliantly named Betty. What a great name for a horse. Betty is a little bit tense, um, has vented up to two star, but finds the dressage quite tense, and obviously this environment, but starting to chill out a little bit. Josh seems to know a little bit. Um, he's giving Pammy a run for her money, he's saying a little bit to her. Um, so we'll, we'll watch there. And then, um, great name as well, Gucci, coming up behind me. Gucci um, with the lovely Izzy. They look a bit pretty. She's winning the points for the shiniest pony awards. Um, Izzy clearly knows I like a very shiny horse, don't you? Yeah, she's lots of brushing for me. Beautiful pairing again, 13 years old, that horse. Um, competed at dressage at the Winter Championships this year. Really just, I think the horse and rider, you know when people say that you're like your animals, the horse is sweet, Izzy looks really sweet. So again, just really excited getting to know them all, but um, really interesting group this. It's got to be you've got to feel like you can ride forwards and slow down and just basically have more influence on them. Uh, but that's the difference is that you, you know you spend that time getting them listening but when he is listening you need to be quick to uh, adapt and then say right let's go push it forward you're about to go through pain for two minutes you're going to have to do exactly as you're told forward forward 
it's not consistent because you're doing it for her rather than actually explaining to her. So that's where you need to be more clear and say, okay, this is what I would like. Even if I don't get that response straight away, I'm going to implement exercises or a technique that then we can work through that to then say, okay, the end, the end result is now I can do less and she does more. Yes. How we're getting there. Good chap, thank you. I love that. At last. What's he doing? He's grabbing the bit, okay? So why is he doing that? Because um, he probably wants to go forward. Okay, so forget he's a horse. What would you do? Um, slow him down. Yes. So, like, that's where you've got to think much more simply, not what the rule book says, yeah. and ride from the seat and leg to the hand. And yes, that's appropriate, but you've got to remember he's a racehorse. Yeah. Uh, and actually, like, keep it very simple. Brilliant. Loved it. Yeah. Great experience. What did you learn? Um, I'm not as bad as I thought I was. <laughs> Basically. Oh, amazing. I was in my element completely. She felt amazing. She went even better. It was incredible. I got some really nice comments off Charlie and Pam. It was, I mean, it was just great. I want to do that all day. <laughs> Pammy, uh, she didn't say anything too mean, so it must have been that bad. So, yeah, very happy. Very happy. I'm still alive. It's a miracle. <laughs> oh, absolutely incredible. Although, I think I may have overcorrected because Pammy told me to ride, and then Charlie said, Stop riding so much. <laughs> so, um, I'm not really sure, but by the end of it, she was going amazingly, and I'm so pleased. It was a massive, massive experience for her as well, for us both. Um, so, I'm dead chuffed with it. Dead chuffed. After the break, our riders play Spot the Grand Prix dressage horse as they switch to the Talon Schoolmasters. She's taking you for a ride. Be more confident. Come on, take hold of the reins. Who'll make the grade in the first riding modules at the All-Star Academy. Module one has drawn to a close, and now the very exciting part is that module two, the uh, riders get to ride talent horses. Um, I have to say, first of all, bravo to you lot, because the horses look amazing. Um, talent horses turned out beautifully, all plaited and everything. Um, so our contestants now are probably going to be a bit nervous, because it's all very well riding your own horse, but now getting on a horse that they've never even patted, let alone sat on, is going to be an actually proper test. So really looking forward to now seeing how they perform. I have requested this section in because they're dressed as schoolmasters, so they've got loads of buttons. So there's eight in front of you. You will swap. Charlie will work with four. I'll work with four. And we will probably swap sides and swap horses. Um, so extra points will go from me, I think, to the person who might be able to guess which horse has won six national titles. So if you think you're sat on that horse, um, let us know. And Charlie, you've got a test. Yeah, we've got one horse amongst the group that's competed internationally at Grand Prix. Uh, so if anybody can guess that, then good luck. But if you keep your thumb on the snaffle rein, then it will stop the curb on from tightening up. Okay? Good luck. That's it, and deeper with the neck. Move him down through the neck, slower. Whoop, whoop. Move your hands a little. Lower the neck. That's it. And stop pushing. Lucy. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> when I saw you break into trot, I was slightly worried you might fall off and go out the oh back no. door. Um, that horse, um, <laughs> how you feel? get your breath. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, yeah. Oh, I've never ridden a horse like this before. <laughs> it, makes, yeah, it makes me think that I've got a lot of improving to do. It's just got so many different paces. I just think like horses have walk, trot, canter. There's like, Pammy just said he's got six types of canter. <laughs> like, gosh! Good 
You just basically show her where you want her, okay. and she responds. Oh, okay. If you have no contact, she put her head up in the air. If you have too tight a contact, she put her head up in the air. If you do anything wrong, she put her head up in the air. Okay, David. Now he's a very different type of horse to your horse. Okay, um, but and and he moves very differently as well. But you've just got to try and get used to that movement. He's got quite a, a big bouncy trot. Okay, so um, in terms of your position, if you just halt now. Just a little squeeze with the reins, good, and then stop there. I'm just going to uh, untwist your stirrup for a start. Now relax, okay? <laughs> Try and keep your leg just underneath you and be soft, okay? And then when you want to use your leg, just do that and not too tight, okay? And I saw you fly, doing some flying changes there, doing, having a little play around, going sideways, hey, backwards. You're just teaching me stuff. I had nothing to do with any of it. <laughs> yeah, he was fantastic. Josh, you're being brave doing sitting trot. It's different when you're doing it on, you know, short striding event horses and big striding warm bloods. Is he go slower, will you? Slower. Woo! That's it. She's taking you for a ride. I don't blame her. <laughs> Be more confident. Come on, take hold of the reins. They like, just. Like, it, it's the same story with your, watch out on the track, same story with your horse and her. You've got to just, like, be more, be, yeah. So your horse is maybe slightly more tolerant with, you know, how you ride. I know women don't like to admit it, but they do need to be told what to do, you know, and... Uh, at the moment, she is doing whatever she wants to do. Uh, exactly. That's it. Right. Well, you've all had a go on these beautiful animals, but Pammy has very kindly allowed you the privilege of riding. Um, but I think for us, what's going to tell us the most is not watching you ride, but actually hearing you tell us what you think of the horses and what they've told you. Okay. Pammy mentioned my hands were a bit sort of frozen and... So I started working a lot more, and he, he definitely came into a contact a lot better. Um, I did a couple of flying changes on him, and he was just so balanced. He was just beautiful. I think this is, just, I reckon this is one of the, the national okay. champs for Very sure. Very good. I, ju uh, I just think I can't ride him as well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I am guessing he's a bit younger. Yeah. He kind of just doesn't like do it straight away he kind of needs a bit of guidance from you um but other than that i was having a little play with him and i think i drive a bit too much and kind of can just leave him to it a bit more um because he's so powerful okay phoebe obviously a massive schoolmaster um the thing i would probably change the most is our flying changes from the right to the left but, Girl. yeah um but walked canters were amazing like can really collect together yeah. just like teaching me way more than I was doing anything. <laughs> and Lucy, well, how about you? How did you get on? Personally, for me, uh, I think I need to ride more with my seat um, instead of because I just freeze up a bit and I just need to work my core. Good assessment, Lucy. Josh, how did you get on? Uh, one thing I think I'd improve is in the trot, just getting a consistent contact and trying to get him a bit lower because he, he quite likes having quite a uh, high profile in his head when he's yeah. cutting around uh, but apart from that fantastic I think I'd definitely put my guess in that he's the one with the six titles okay very interesting we give nothing away yet yeah David how did you get on absolutely amazing experience um, I believe this one's one of the special horses we've got a fight I really do um, and if I was left alone with him I think I'd like to, I've always wanted to do an extended trot so that's <laughs> just something I'd always like to have a go at. And how did you get on, Kelly? Um, I need to work so much more on my seat. I mean, he was very responsive. I'd like to get him a little bit more working, um, a bit more of a connection. You know, I found it quite difficult to get him forward. Lovely, thank you. And last but not least, Stephanie, how did you get on? 
she's taught me how essential it is to maintain that contact and be consistent. She's not as tolerant as my horse. You know, she's a schoolmaster. She knows exactly what she's doing. And the fact that she's, you know, she's not tolerating any of my rubbish, so she wants to sort it out. And actually, when she did start going, we started going as a pair, it was just, well, it was like, it was euphoric almost. Yeah. She really is something. So, uh, Josh, you're on Ollie. He's my old competition horse, uh, the International Grand Prix horse. Uh, He's caused me blood, sweat and tears and joy. Uh, you were right to pick up on the fact that he's a bit lazy to the leg. Um, <laughs> we've both experienced that. Uh, but I think you did a fantastic job. He's, um, I mean, he's, he looks great. He's 20 years old and as you can feel, still, his changes are his forte. I mean, he's, I think he's done 126 one-time changes around the arena. So, uh, you know, that's, that's his quality. Uh, and then we're on to the next Abira, who's our pride and joy. So he is the six-time national champion. So David got the prize. <laughs> yeah, actually, my head is not covered in sweat. That is amazing. <laughs> not very voluminous. <laughs> Have I got hat hair? There's absolutely no but. It's a great experience, but we're not used to riding with, with such a strong contact, so it's, it's completely new. After the break, it's decision time. Which riders have more homework to do? I don't know whether it's that she needs a bit more guidance or whether she just needs a kick out the backside. And which riders will get top marks at the All-Star Academy? Welcome back to the All-Star Academy. It's assessment time. Our riders have shown what they can do on their own horses and how they handle the talent schoolmasters, but who will get the riding rosettes? Two modules, eight riders, three very different opinions, I think. Um, I think we've got to go through them one by one and really work out um, who has come out on top and who's shone in, in, in every aspect, not just their riding, but, yep. but their personality, how they dealt with the situation. Um, so starting at the beginning, um, Josh. Um, Pammy, what did you think of Josh? He had the first word of the day that I wrote down, which right. was um, that he was quite narrow-minded. That was to start with. As the session went on, he did improve, though not for me on his own horse. Uh, when he went on and rode the next horse, well, that's all right. Well, I had a completely different experience. I, as soon, when I had Josh, did I have it? I had him second, and um, I really enjoyed working Josh, with him. I thought he was brilliant. As I say, he got better, but he did have a broadside from me. Interesting. And I think you saw it, Jenny. Yeah, I did. He, he almost didn't kind of want to take the advice. He does have the most experienced horse here, so you'd think straight away he would have shone. Sure. So with that in mind, the most experienced horse, but none of us are going, he was a favourite. Yeah. So I think maybe that might... And you had him start in. with, and I had him second. Yeah. And, and so he was nicely warmed up with you, yeah. but I wanted to get the neck out more. I wanted to get the neck out more as well. And I had said to him that Russell you had said that. that. I did in the end, but I did have to get a bit mad to get it. Mm. He, I think they're right, definitely slightly narrow-minded in terms of... Uh, He's, he is riding. quite young. He just needs to take a deep breath and open up a bit. Experience. Well, yeah. you're quite intimidating, yeah. Pammy. Come on. <laughs> well, I was in soft mode today. <laughs> so let's move on now to David Morris. Now, we have to bear in mind this isn't a riding competition and he's only been riding for three years, but I actually think he stood out pretty well considering the amount of time. And I felt module one on his own horse, well, he's on his own horse, he knows that horse, he's going to look quite good on it. But then he swapped onto a horse he'd never sat on. I mean, you had him, Charlie. I thought he did really well. David would be the type of guy I'd like to go for a pint with. <laughs> I think he's brilliant. Um, yeah. You know, and obviously he's inexperienced, but um, I, I think he's a brilliant lad. Yeah. Well, apart from my son going drinking with him in the evenings, um, I found that although he's older than 38, he took on board any helpful criticism so fast and was so keen to learn mm. that he's had a little mark on both his first horse uh, you know he's one of the ones I would like into the mix if he anybody... knew straight away yeah. he, he, as soon as he went into trot he came up to me and he said uh, 
I think this is the horse. <laughs> <laughs> so he shows feel too. Yeah. yeah. Is actually what I thought. Um, and then moving on to Kelly with the chestnut Dave, um, and then she rode the lovely grey that you guys supplied. Um, Pammy, you said earlier she's quite opinionated. Are you still having now got to know her a bit more still uh, in that vein? I think my sometimes my slightly um, forthright uh, way of talking goes out before me. And I found it astonishing that within 10 minutes she her, was letting me know how her horse should be trained. And whilst I was trying very hard to stay on good behaviour for the first 10 minutes uh, well, and listened to her and took everything on board, I didn't think that a lot of what she said was going to be very productive towards that horse for the future. So she only had one word on the first section, and that was opinionated. I definitely didn't get the vibe that she was opinionated. Um, Perhaps I'd trained her by then. <laughs> maybe you had done your job. I, I think it's really important that we can all have uh, character moments, mm. let's call it that. And I did actually make a note that her attitude had completely changed through sitting on a porch. Um, and then Stephanie. So let's um, talk about Stephanie and Piggles. Um, she was on the grey. Um, again, you had quite a lot to say about her because you felt this horse could be um, could have shone a little bit more out there today. She had a great horse that wasn't really shining. Yes, and I haven't had a chance to discuss with Charlie, but I, I, even though she's showing and she needs to show off the front, I immediately shortened her reins and she suggested that she took a more proactive role and actually mm. rode her horse rather than... I think she was nervous to start with today and just sort of sat on and, and didn't really... Did you see her on a mow? Because the interesting thing was, uh, it was she actually learned more from that than she will have done for a long time because she, a mow taught her, you know, she, she puts her head up because she's not got a secure contact and she she really learned that and took that on board. I think she's one to watch. I think, I think the dark horse, excuse the pun. Yeah, I would agree. So looking at Lucy now with Bagel, that horse to me looked a lot more experienced than the rider. Um, he looked like he'd done a little bit, yeah. whereas I think with That's her... That's the event horse. The event horse, yeah. So I think with her, um, I don't know if it's lack of confidence or lack of knowledge. I think there's potential there. But um, as trainers, do you think she was but living up to that? But she's had it a year. It's a two-star horse. But she's um, eventing at 100. Yeah. It's interesting. I put a question to her and said, you know, if you're going cross-country or you're show jumping, how much are you concentrating to every step? And, um, you know, as I said, pointed out, it's a life-and-death situation when you're on a cross-country course. Mm. Uh, she's not quite got the same commitment on the dressers, but she's aware of that as well. Okay. So... Um, I don't know whether it's that she needs a bit more guidance or whether she just needs a kick at the backside. <laughs> but she very quickly rose to the occasion. Yeah, I thought that. I put so I, I, on her I, face. I, he's not an easy horse to ride, mm. actually, and I've had some clients that have struggled with him because he's very forwards. Yeah. And um, I, had, I looked across and I thought, oh, she's doing quite a good job. So I was quite surprised at that. Um, and then Phoebe now um, on the Palomino. So she stood out straight away by having quite a lovely horse. Charlie, start us off. I mean... What did you think of her? Um, I thought she was very open, very honest about what she had to say. She knew completely her story, her weaknesses, and she knew what she needed to get better. Uh -huh. um, I thought she was quite smiley and quite great, and um, yeah, I quite liked. And although she's only 22, I had written down straight away, good shows feel, Yeah. will look much better tomorrow. She was nervous, and she, out of everybody was the one that suddenly wished that we weren't making a programme and she could just settle down and learn. Mm. She did, All the doors went open, she just wanted to be taught, 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 and I had to gently explain that this might not be the moment for a <laughs> private <laughs> lesson, that she better keep riding. She She's was. just green. Yeah, and she also guessed that which horse was which. She guessed and the Grand Prix and the... She, just on reflection, she picked up, you pointed out, she picked up on the weakness of the flying change. I, I, well. Unbelievably, so, um, maybe with maturity, style, yeah. She, this girl has feel. Um, and then Re, so poor Re, horse gone lame yesterday. He's had to bring a re ex race horse. Um, but interestingly, for me, I think she did better on the race horse than she did. My mother's on got your a word horse. written down on her board. <laughs> what does it say? It says wet. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, I had my hand over that. Mm. She came in suffering from voice and nerves, and we know that the horse was very green. But having seen her ride in module two, mm. 
I don't think that she was assisting the untrained racehorse as much as she could with a little bit more experience. I think that comes down she to was, knowledge. She was yeah. not, it is knowledge. She wasn't really in charge. The horse yeah. was in charge of her. And I, I only put, uh, yes, I put what we can. She assessed the horse quite well. But I was a little bit nervous, and that was the quietest horse in there, mm. that um, it, it might just head off in the direction of its own. <laughs> I think that took guts to get on a racehorse. Lovely and brave. Yeah. But you needed more the horse was rider. in charge of her, mm. not her gently in charge of the very wound-up horse. Yeah. yeah. In even her body language. What about Izzy? The little so the pocket rocket there. Izzy. Pocket rocket Izzy. With Gucci. Interesting, the youngest one, isn't she? She is, yep, yeah, 21 years old. I'm just going to say she's my star one. She's your star well one done, for both Charlie. modules? Or just yeah. Both modules, excellent. I think she's brilliant. You think she's brilliant. Um, explain. Um, I just get a gut yeah, feeling. Yeah. Like, yeah. As soon as I had her first in my group, I thought, I like you. Yeah. I thought she was keen, willing to learn, smiley, took on all the information, like, compassionate, humble, like, knew her ability. Yeah. No complaints. She has an affinity with them. I agree with Charlie. She could be taught. She did get marked. For your module one... Who is your winner? I am going to go with my gut feeling, Izzy. Izzy? Yeah. Okay, and my module one winner... Oh, it's tough, isn't it? I think, I, I think I'm going to go with Izzy as well. Okay. Well, you're very lucky, because I'm quite happy to have Izzy. Happy to have Izzy. <laughs> yes. So Izzy is our winner. Who is and that's our... good, because all three of us. Yeah, and she yeah. was just really yeah. lovely, wasn't she? Yeah. Really lovely girl. Um, and then we've got to come with a highly commended. Um, personally, um, I think Phoebe would be my highly commended. I would agree as well on that one. So look at that. <laughs> Can we sway you? You can, actually. Excellent. You can. Yeah, because it was, it, she was one that I had an argument with you earlier this morning about. So I was for her. Just to summarise, at the end of module one, we have Izzy, who takes the first rosette, and then we have Phoebe, who is in the highly commended place. That's, that's really nice. I'll tell Gucci she can have an extra carrot. <laughs> or ten. <laughs> She'll be happy. Uh, yeah, she was She was good. She, she went well, to be fair. She chilled out pretty fast, which I was a bit apprehensive about, because she can be quite tense and hot. Um, but no, she came in, she just had a little bit of a, ooh, and Charlie was like, just keep walking, so I just kept her nice and calm and just like chilled out, um, and she did, and I was really, really happy that, you know, she, she did do some really nice work, and it was nice that I could get, like, get that out of her in this environment, so I was happy, so yeah. <laughs> so going on now to module two, we have to pick our winner and our highly commended. Um, I'm going to kick this one off. Um, I love David. I love the fact that I was worried for him, having not really ridden other horses and three years in the saddle, to sit on a, such talented horses that can really intimidate you. And he had fun with it. And not only that, he tried to get an extended trot. I thought he did a great job with the little experience he's got. See, because mm. I did the opposite. I thought that Lucy was learning every single step. She showed more improvement mm. than perhaps David allowed Abira to teach her. You get the deciding vote. We can't, well, this is not two against one. I'd, I'd liked both of them, to be honest. I think they both shone, and um, Lucy... As it has say, to be for me, Lucy. OK. Are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. So the winner of Module 2, and the person who showed the most improvement as well, was Lucy, and David is highly commended. Wow. No, no arguments there. We're all, we're all agreed. Yep. I've just found out some fabulous news. I've won the first, won the first module um, on the... Talent horses, which I'm so overly shocked about. Um, actually, no, I'm not because my horse was amazing and it pretty much did all the work. Very impressed with Bam today. He went fantastic this morning. And Pammy Hutton loved him. He was very happy with him. And she said he was a lovely horse. So I was over the moon with that. So, yeah, brilliant. Thanks again. <laughs> 
So let's look now at the leaderboards. We have four riders on two rosettes because some of the riders did guess correctly that horses um, were competing at a certain level. David Morris, Lucy Robinson, Phoebe and Izzy all on two rosettes and then Ree is on one rosette. Well, that's it for the first two riding modules here at the Academy. Thanks so much to Pammy and Charlie, not only for your knowledge, but for letting us use those amazing horses. But this is just the beginning. Join us next time when we'll be testing our riders' saddlery knowledge in the Albion Tack Challenge here at the Blue Chip All Star Academy.